welcome back. Today's video is all about my favorites of 2017, yay! I got the idea from Linda Heilberg. If you don't know who she is, she is probably the most amazing makeup blogger ever and from Sweden, which is something I love because I used to live in Sweden, for those of you who didn't know that. I think she got the idea from Ida Elena and I will link her as well. But I looked at her list and I kind of asked the interwebs on the Instagrams if they wanted me to make a video on this and it was 94% yes. So here we are once again, making a video for the grams. I'm loosely going to be going off the list on Linda Heyerberg's website. These are my favorites of 2017. Beauty products, so this is skin, hair care, makeup, all a bunch of fun stuff. Let's get to it. Let's start off with skincare. Starting off with moisturizer, my favorite face moisturizer at this very moment in time is Enzymion from Lush. Most of my face is Lush products, just so you know. Anyway, this skin moisturizer is very light. If you have combination skin, this is quite perfect. It is a bit more on the pricey side, but it is worth it. Eye cream, I love the Enchanted Eye Cream from Lush. This is not very scented, very perfect for around the under eyes and right here. I use this morning and evening. It's not too heavy for the day, but it's nice and saturating enough for the evening as well. So before you can go to bed, you can put on a bit more. Cleanser and exfoliant, I will put kind of together because I use the cup of coffee all the time as my scrub. This is probably one of the best scrubs ever. I love this one. I normally alternate between cup of coffee and dark angels. This one is a charcoal base. This one is a coffee base. It's got actual coffee in it. It smells wonderful and it is gentle enough for everyday use. Face mask. My favorite face mask of the 2017s will be Prince of Darkness. This is also a charcoal base, which I do love charcoal based things because they really get rid of all that dirt and grit. Little beauty fact, dirt removes dirt, believe it or not. Anything charcoal based will really get rid of, you know, pollution, all the things around you that just affect your skin so it's really a deep cleanse so this mask you leave it on for a bit it is kind of dark so when you do apply it you will look a bit mental it smells very fresh and clean this one i use about once or twice a week or whenever i really feel that my skin needs that extra bit of nourishment by the way this one it even says on the packaging to keep in the fridge and honestly keep it in the fridge it'll spoil if you keep it around toner Favorite toner is the Tea Tree Water, also from Lush. This one is wonderful. I love how it smells. I love how it feels on my skin. I've noticed, noticed since I started using it, the pores on my nose have become smaller. So it's very essential if you do an exfoliant or a scrub to do a toner afterwards, just to close up those pores. Cause a lot of times when you scrub really hard or just scrub in general, the pores tend to open over because you've cleansed them. So after the cleansing, we want to do the toning. I'm also going to include these next two products in skin as well, because in my industry, they're kind of essential. So favorite, hand cleanser. I have to normally wash my hands between every client just to keep my hands nice and clean, sanitary before applying makeup on someone. Things when I wash my hands too much, they get really red, raw, and I get little cracks on my knuckles, which I can't have when working with my hands. I use a cleansing gel, which is a nice, gentle, lovely smelling sanitizer. I don't like using normal sanitizers. A, again, they irritate my hands. B, your hands smell very harsh of alcohol and just cleanser and you don't want to put that in someone's face. My clients love when I put this on my hands. When I'm about to apply makeup on someone, they always say, oh, what's that lovely smell? It's this lovely product on so my hands, smell nice and my hands are clean. Since I have to put my hands through vigorous amounts of cleansing and sanitizing and washing and such, I do need a bit extra moisture. So I use the Body Shop British Rose, lovely, and it makes my hands nice and soft again. So it just gives me back what I'm lacking in moisture. All right, let's move on to some hair. Honestly, with my hair, again, I just use one brand pretty much. I discovered it last year, fell absolutely in love with it, and then this year got a whole bunch of their products, and I've noticed my hair is in such great condition. Starting off with shampoo, my favorite for this year is the Amica Balancing Shampoo. I know this bottle is bloody enormous. It's one liter. This keeps going for a long time with me because both my partner and I, we use the same shampoo. Since my hair is down to my ass, this lasts me a good amount of time. The Balancing Shampoo is a very gentle cleanser. It can be used on almost all hair types. It doesn't strip the hair too much. It smells absolutely wonderful and beautiful. The packaging is really fun. This 
this one doesn't have let me see i read this earlier it's a bit of research on all my products just so i had something to talk about but i can't memorize everything because if you could see my desk right now there's a whole bunch of shite here this one here is free of parabens silicone and artificial colors and some of the main ingredients are olive oil avocado oil and a word i cannot pronounce tocoperia which is a type of vitamin e that just penetrates the hair very nicely this shampoo wonderful but it isn't sulfate free so for those of you who color your hair go for the color version of this shampoo but it is just an all-around shampoo and it's really nice i can actually get a brush through my hair conditioner i use the hydrate conditioner from amica again in the liter bottle this one is sulfate free and friendly to use with i think color treated and chemical treated hair like brazilian blowout and so forth this one gives that extra bit of hydration now, since my hair is naturally curly it needs a little bit more tender loving care my hair gets really dry really easy so this one is perfect for my hair i love this conditioner it is absolutely brilliant and again it smells beautiful just like its counterpart the shampoo hair treatment i use the nourishing mask from amica i should probably say that this video is not sponsored by amica in any way i just love their products this one i use once to every other week because i wash my hair once a week so i can't really use it every time i wash my hair anytime i feel my hair really needs that extra bit of nourishment and hydration after shampooing twice what i do is i apply this to my hair i will either tie it up and just do my thing in the shower or i will wrap a warm towel around my hair just so my cuticle can really open up after i use the mask i always put conditioner on after because i've noticed with a lot of masks they're not alkaline enough to shut your cuticle after it's been put on anytime you use any kind of mask always put your conditioner on after you've rinsed it out just to make sure that cuticle gets sealed and the nourishment stays in product wise again with the amica hairspray i use the touchable hairspray because i find the other one the i don't know what it's called but the stronger hold is perfect for updos but not so much for everyday use and this one brushes out so nicely this one gets my favorite love their dry shampoo this is the perk up dry shampoo most canned dry shampoos make my hair look powdery and like i belong with the rococo of the 1700s in france you can see i used it this morning and my hair still nice and dark love it and the best thing about it is not only does it look make my hair look clean it also makes it smell clean very important in a dry shampoo you don't want your hair smelling of asshole for dry and wet styling i love this uh, bombshell blowout spray it's got heat protection in it so you can also use it in the lengths and ends for curling or straightening hair because it just gives up that extra nice bit of bounce the amica treatment oil this is very much like the moroccan oil oil i feel this one is a touch lighter i wouldn't say that moroccan oil is heavy but this one here just has a different feel to it and the hair absorbs it nicely i would not maybe recommend this for all very very fine hair types unless you use very little but if your hair ever needs that extra bit of you know love and oil and nourishment then go for it love this product love it and it smells of heaven now onto my favorite category makeup they're like dusting it on my face and other people's faces. I'm going to follow the list a little more roughly because there's a lot of products on my desk and I don't want to lose, lose track. Setting spray. My favorite setting spray this year is the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. This one is fabulous. One of the reasons I love this so much every time I have gone to a concert, a few times I go to a concert in my sad life, I always go in with perfect makeup and leave with perfect makeup. While others look all melted and ugh. People ask me, what did you do? I say all nighter because it lasts all night. No, really, it does though. Eyeshadow primer. I think this year my favorite has been the um, the K primer potion because since they changed the bottle, I think I have an old bottle hidden around here somewhere that I had from back in the day, but they were very stiff and you could not for the life of you get the last remaining bit of product out. The shadows just look superb with this. Foundation, I would say I have two favorites, well, three, but one of them I don't currently have. Number one favorite would be the All Night Foundation from Urban Decay. Number two, Skin Base from Ilamasca. Ilamasca is in 3.5. All nighter is in 1.0. Powder would have to go to the Ben Night Colorless Powder in, yeah, neutral set, it's called. This one is just neutral, 
loose setting powder. I have two bottles, a big one in my kit, a small one for my desk. I really like how it feels, especially most of my foundations get really muddy right here and here since I've got combination skin. So this prevents it from happening too soon in the day. Ooh, highlighter. Highlighter is a good one. My current highlight obsession would be the Kat Von D Metal Crush palette, which has Three very good size highlighters in here. They're quite glittery, so they're probably not for everybody. My absolute favorite this year would be the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. I mean, just look at these colors. They're all so bloody beautiful. Purple Horseshoe, you can see I'm already hitting pan because this was my go-to for almost for every single day. I love that I can just effortlessly create a rainbow highlight with this, just customize it all over my face. It just looks absolutely gorgeous, glowy, and beautiful. I think another one of my favorites under highlight would be the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, but I'm guessing this would count as all over palette, because this is more of a transformer and topper rather than highlight. Kind of goes in this category, I suppose. Maybe, no? I don't care, it's shiny. Blush. I guess a single blush on its own, I would say. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Captivating. This is just a perfect, very light, peachy type of blusher for anyone who is extraordinarily, extremely fair like myself. If I'm going off blush in general, I do love the blushes in the Infinity Palette, which is these two, Andromeda and Pinwheel. So sometimes I even like to mix them two together as a blush. Those would be my favorite blushes. Contour, again, I have two favorites. My number one favorite would be the Linda Heiberg Infinity Palette again. You've got two bronzy type colors and this one here to kind of blend it all out. So this is kind of my travel everyday type contour. I recently also fallen in love with the Kat Von D Shade and Light contour palette. This one is just strictly contour. So if it's just contour, this would be my favorite. If it's multi-use, Linda Heiberg. Favorite bronzer, however, would be the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is a medium matte bronzer for the faith. Okay, next up we have mascara. I'm going to put that in two categories. So my number one favorite amongst mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It really makes even the shortest, skinniest lashes look so much longer and voluminous, and it's just stunningly beautiful. My favorite waterproof mascara is the Urban Decay Cannonball. What I like about this one is it has particles in it, so you can make your lashes look even longer. Next up is palette. This is probably the hardest choice. Asking me for my favorite palette is like choosing which is your favorite child or which is your favorite cat. But even that I would kind of put in separate categories palette wise. If I want just a plain matte palette, just matte eye contour, anything I need transition wise, I would say the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Just your perfect matte neutrals for either every day or if you happen to have a palette that doesn't have a good transition you can use this to just transition any type of look that is going onto my neutral matte category. Favorite colorful would probably be the Kat Von D Pastel Goth. These are beautiful pastel colors. They just, you know what, they really make a look stand out. And if you want a little bit of extra shimmer, you can always add a pigment to it. So this I'm guessing would have stolen my heart this year for colorful. I also really this year really love the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Reason why, it has so many choices. Yes, it's big and bulky. I probably would not take this with me for travel. Actually, I, you know what, I might because I've got any color I would need. Bulk wise, it is a touch bulky, but so many colors, so many choices and just gorgeous. If I wanted to go super shiny and metallic, I would go for the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. So, I mean, who doesn't love a bit of golden shimmer? I was in love, well, still am, am in love with these colors over the holiday season. And I even took this palette with me to work a couple of times and just said to my clients, would you like a bit of shimmer? Let's go extra shimmery, cause it quit me. The palette I used a lot this year, so it would probably also be one of my favorites, is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. It has beautiful reds, beautiful rose goldy colors, and beautiful shimmers. I used this one a lot this year. I'm guessing it also has a very special place in my heart. There's so many more favors that I have, but I had to kind of put it down to a few. Brow gel, my absolute new favorite is the Ilamasca Brow Build in Amplify. This is 
so perfect because it's got little particles in it the particles really just help to build up your eyebrows to make them look fuller and they really stay it's not like they're stiff but they really hold shape so if you have that one stubborn eyebrow hair that just doesn't want to stay what you're supposed to this little guy will make it stay and eyebrow product again linda heilberg infinity palette the color i use is farnax with a very light hand i just shade in my brows so they look nicely shaped eyeshadow pigment this year i discovered denisa myrick's metals and i even got to meet her at emats and she is the sweetest woman always seen linda heilberg use these and i always thought i need that color daydreamer bring it here this is probably the most beautiful pigment in human history and then i had to get love story so those other pigments that are hiding at guru makeup emporium i'm coming for you so yes these <laughs> Ones are probably the best pigments I've ever used. Two very close runners up are the Illamasqua pigments. This one is in static and the Sugar Peel Ghosted. That soft pinky shade on the cheekbone just looks divine. This year I really discovered my love for pigments. I bought probably too many. Vanessa Myricks, you're in my heart forever now. Favorite lashes. And I think this year my favorite lash brand has been Prima Lash for work and personal. But I think my all-time favorite lash from them would be the 808s, which I'm also wearing right now. These are the perfect dupe for House of Lashes in iconic lip liners. Now, in a previous video, I mentioned I used to never be a fan of lip liners, never really used them, whether it was personally or for work, because I just found them... I don't know. I just never felt the love for them. And for Christmas, my partner got me the Kat Von D set with the three lip liners. So I discovered the Everlasting Lip Liners and absolutely my favorite would be in Homegirl. It's a really lovely blood red color. These are so buttery soft and smooth, go on so well. They don't feel drying at all. They're just superb. I don't know how, how else to say it, but these lip liners are just really fantastic. They're really small, fit into any kind of bag, and I love that you don't have to sharpen them. Lip gloss, again, not a lip gloss person. If I had to pick a lip gloss, it would probably be the Too Faced Melted Latex. The colors are gorgeous. I only have the one from the holiday set, but I definitely want to get my hands on unicorn tears. This one here is Melted Latex in Hopeless Romantic. I use this one for work. My clients love it. And it's that lovely nude shade. Lipstick. I rarely use lipstick anymore because I have found my deep undying love for liquid lipsticks. But if I did have to pick one, it would either be the Kat Von D Studded Kiss lipsticks or the Melt lipsticks. And my favorite shade would be in Nord. I'm wearing it right now and it's the perfect everyday type of nude. My ever undying love goes to liquid lipsticks from the everlasting liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. I love you. Sorry, I'm going to stop singing now. So yes, the everlasting liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D. I have even more on my desk, but I just kind of picked some of my favorites right here. So they are Lolita, Damned, Requiem, Nosferatu, and Echo. Also a recent favorite would be the Too Faced Melted Matte. This one is in Granny Panties. Next few categories I've kind of added myself because they weren't included on Linda Heilberg's list. I'm going to add to that lip toppers and my favorite will be the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Topper and this one is in Reverb. This is such a beautiful color. It really transforms any lip color into something new. It's so versatile. It's probably not a color for everybody it is just gorgeous it's kind of violety green glittery i i just love it it's such a perfect color for my life eyeliner i have put into three categories eyeliner pen will be the tattoo liner in trooper from kat von d eyeliner pencil would be the urban decay 24 glide on eye pencil in heartless this is such a versatile color. I use it in my waterline as a tear duct highlighter. I even use it as a Cupid's bow highlighter. If you can see, that will be heartless because normally I drink a lot of coffee. I'm eating, I'm talking throughout the day. This Cupid's bow highlight does not always last as long as my cheek highlight. This just gives it that nice little bit of glow that just lasts a bit longer. My favorite gel liner will be the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner in Infinity. What I love about this liner in particular, you get more product than from most companies and it doesn't dry out as quickly as the Bobbi Brown one, for example. And liquid liner, I would say the Lancome Art Liner. It's just that perfect deep, dark liquidy black liner i'm guessing i'm going to make a category for multi-use my absolute favorite product this year has been the illamasqua sealing gel you can make 
any kind of eyeliner that you ever dreamed of with any eyeshadow with this little product. It's even better than, than using an eyeshadow with a setting gel because this just stays. It doesn't crease, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't print, it just stays. Skin primer. I don't always use skin primer, but when I do, I use the Illamasqua Hydra Veil. It does have a moisturizing content to it. It is a jelly type substance. Anytime you disrupt it, it turns all funny and gooey, but it just goes right back into its, you know, sleek content. I use this for work, for clients who have much drier skin. This is just the perfect combination of moisturizer and primer. Next category on her list is nails. Now, I stopped doing my nails because I'm utterly hopeless and my nails always wind up looking like a disaster. I just have my friend and colleague Katarina do my talents for me. I think we need a glitter category. My favorite glitter this year would probably be the Lit Cosmetics Goober Grape Fine Glitter. This is the most beautiful violety green glitter ever. It's super fine. You can mix it up enough to be glittery eyeshadow, but glitter wise, favorite fine glitter. Favorite chunky glitter would be the Gypsy Shrine Chunky Unicorn. It has such beautiful big and small particles. To get my glitter to just stay put, I love using the Lid Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. The last category was fragrance, and I have two favorite fragrances this year, and that's the Kat Von D Saint fragrance and the Ilamasca Freak Scarab. Love the bottles, love the scent. They just make me smell so much prettier. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites list of 2017. I'm going to try and upload this before the next year, so if you see it in 2017, yay! If you see it in 2018, then... Not much we can do about that, is there? I hope you guys enjoyed this non-tutorial video or favorites video. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again next time. Auf Wiedersehen.